Who doesn't love those space-faring hippos with a love for gunpowder? Introduced in the Spelljammer campaign setting, the GIF was both a playable race and a creature for your character to do battle with. It's hard to take the GIF very seriously, as the publishers have gone out of their way to make the GIF look and act like a buffoon who just likes to watch things explode. That's a shame because there's more to this creature than meets the eye. Sure, they love dressing up in full military uniforms and parading around, but that doesn't mean they always act that way. Their loyalty is unquestionable, and an honorable race of hippo humanoids is nothing to scoff at, especially because if you do, they'll headbutt you so hard you'll splatter to the ground. We know they love to blow things up, but that doesn't make them morons. Besides, when you're up against a horde of kobolds, you'll be happy to have Glabrus the Gif at your side with a barrel of gunpowder tucked under each arm. The GIF was introduced in the Spelljammer Adventures in Space box set in 1989 as a powerful hippo-humanoid mercenaries race and is later reprinted in the Monsters Manual in 1993. Little is known about their origins as no living GIF has ever seen or knows their home planet's location, though they have their rumors about it. Among the GIF, this mythical homeworld is a perfect place filled with jungles, weapons, and gunpowder. Lots of weapons and lots of gunpowder. There are entire mountains with massive caches of gunpowder and weapons in this utopia, and that if a GIF leads a good life filled with fighting and bravery, they'll return to this world and its caches of gunpowder. What makes the GIF unique isn't so much the fact that they are obsessed with gunpowder, or that they are a race of militant foes, but that their place in the setting is reliant on other races. They cannot use spell jammers, the magical ships that can fly through the void between planets and travel at millions of miles per second, because they have no magical ability themselves. There are no magic users within the GIF society, and they have a deep mistrust of magic, which includes magic items. They rely on other races to ferry them about wild space and between the spheres of worlds, since magic always has a chance of malfunctioning whenever a GIF touches or tries to use it. The GIF are renowned throughout the known universes as the best warriors available for hire. They act as bodyguards, mercenaries, and enforcers, selling their services to anyone with enough gunpowder to pay them. Their entire society is based on a military hierarchy, organizing themselves into squads, platoons, and companies, though they have no strict number for how many might be in a platoon or a squad. Depending on the mission at hand, a group could consist of a handful of specialist GIF or hundreds of brawny hippo bruisers. A GIF will always follow the orders of a higher ranked GIF, even if they know in their heart of hearts that it will get them killed. Many compare this unwavering and unquestioning belief in following orders as a type of GIF religion, and the GIF do nothing to cause other races to believe in it differently. It's not surprising then that while GIF can live well into their 70s, very few do, and those that live to such extreme ages will often try and go out in a blaze of glory and explosions. Their natural physique is another one of the reasons that they are so good at their chosen profession. A bipedal hippo is as beefy as you can imagine, stocky yet muscular, they have a massive chest and are living up to the necklace stereotype of bodyguards and goons everywhere. We continue with the buffoon-like character of the GIF as they wear outlandish military garb circa World War I, complete with ribbons and medals. Also, they adorn their skin with tattoos, and an individual GIF's battle history and prowess is a story drawn in ink on their body. While the majority of the time they don't wear armor, their natural hide being tough enough for them. Some older GIF will have intricate armor that includes majestic helms, crests of monsters, and armor inlaid with ivory and bone. The loyalty of a GIF is legendary, and when you hire a leg breaker, the GIF follows your orders without question. To a GIF, the bad guy is the person their employer tells them is the bad guy. No task is too difficult, or in many cases too insane. Of course, GIF's first and foremost loyalty is to the GIF race. On the off chance that two competing GIF platoons have been hired to fight, they will retire from the battlefield, drink the day away, and most likely break their contracts and quit. Though some might join up into a singular force and switch sides, or decide that it'd be better if they took on their previous employers in a great display of battle and valor. The harder the task, the better as far as the GIF is concerned, for it gives them a reason to pull out one of their many weapons. Swords, daggers, and pole arms are just a few of the weapons a GIF may have on their person at any given time, as well as their preferred choice, a firearm, like an arquebus or wheel lock. Even if you do happen to fight a GIF when they are unarmed, they will wade into battle with the giddiness of a child with a new toy. Strong as a hill giant, a GIF will let their fists fly and going to charge into a crowd and deliver a crushing headbutt that will turn most normal humanoids into mush. Following orders and waging battle will make a GIF happy, but it is gunpowder that puts a genuine smile on the faces of GIF everywhere. 
The sense of ecstasy an explosion brings to a gif is beyond measure. When hired as mercenaries, the gif will exclude gold in favor of gunpowder. Sure, you may be able to hire them to fight in return for new weapons and armor, but if you have a supply of gunpowder, you will be able to hire a platoon of gif for the most ridiculous of tasks. Guns, grenades, and bombs are all used by the gif, and they are fearless in the face of huge explosions, mostly because they are the ones responsible for those big bangs. In The Legend of Spelljammer, released in 1989, we are given a look at GIF spelljammers and how they fly around space. Since they can't use spelljammers themselves, they have to hire on outside help, though we can't imagine too many people are willing to sign up for such a dangerous ship. The GIF's main spelljammers are known as the Great Bombards, which is just a massive cannon with a ship mounted below it. It requires 5 GIF to man it and is so large that to reload, a GIF must float to the front of the cannon, drop in a huge amount of gunpowder and then walk down the cannon, shoving the shot into place. Luckily for the multiverse, there are only a few dozen of these ships in existence, as the GIF often relies on others to transport troops across space. The bad news for the multiverse, though, is that the GIF love firing this cannon, and if they feel like they are running low on gunpowder, they'll turn pirate to get more gunpowder so they can fire the cannon as much as they want. The GIF was presented as a player character in the Complete Spacefarer's Handbook released in 1992 and the GIF starts with a plus two strength due to their giant-like physique and a minus one to their intelligence since they lack creativity. We aren't sure anyone should tell a GIF to their face they lack creativity, especially if that GIF happens to have a loaded firearm nearby. They are limited to being fighters and thieves as magic doesn't really work with their kind. The GIF has traveled extensively and are known to all the other races, but will avoid the Miyogi and the Beholders whenever possible. As they are non-magical, the GIF have trouble using magical items, and every time a player would like to use one, there is a 10% chance the magic item will fail each time. It's tough out there for the GIF, but at least they have very thick skin to protect them. In the third edition, we break from our normal source material. The GIF stat block was created by Chris Dickinson and can be found on the website Spelljammer Beyond the Moons. The website is the official website for Spelljammer and was authorized by Wizards of the Coast back when third edition was first released. It is used as a repository for conversions and updates from second edition to third edition, though these conversions are not from Wizards of the Coast itself or anyone that works for them. Instead, this is fan-created content that is turned official and posted to the website. With that said, there are a few changes for the GIF beyond updating their mechanics for a new edition. Luckily for the GIF, they do get another chance to shine in this edition, although shine isn't really the right term. In Dragon Magazine number 339, they appear as a player character race in the article Races of Spelljammer, Wanderers of Wild Space by Joshua Cole, and they take a bit of a turn. The buffoonish aspects are amplified and there are plenty of pointed comments about the GIF and how unintelligent they are simply because they enjoy fighting in conflicts. We are fairly confident that the GIF would take offense to being referred to as just a soldiering race and not a warrior race. Sure, military rank still means a great deal to them, but they live to fight, and they are still the best for hire soldiers out there. Their strict adherence to military structure means that they abhor those of chaotic alignment, as the GIF will always be lawful and follow orders, unless it means taking on another GIF platoon. While the author does state the GIF had agility and grace that beguiles their natural appearance, he immediately destroys that goodwill when talking about how they dress. So what if the GIF liked to wear full military uniforms at all times? Just because they take pride in their victories and insist on wearing every single medal and ribbon earned from previous battles doesn't make them silly or pompous, just prideful. Maybe it is all a part of a plan to hide their massive bulk and full plate mail armor under such outfits. Or it could be that the GIF know that it is hard to take them seriously on the battlefield when they dress up in such a manner, which makes the pain and destruction they rain down upon their foes just that sweeter. The author even has the nerve to state that the GIF make up new titles and medals placed upon themselves, and we find that to be incongruous with what we know about the GIF. They are boastful, sure, but we aren't ever led to believe in the previous edition that they outright lie about their accomplishments, or that they con other people into thinking that they have done certain deeds. That feels almost entirely not GIF as they are so focused on Valor. If you are hoping to hire some GIF, they still desire gunpowder over everything else, so it's pretty easy to sway them to your side. Considering how big the GIF is, it is not uncommon to find a GIF with several pistols, revolvers, and the occasional blunderbuss on their person. Barrels of gunpowder can buy a GIF army and to destroy your enemies, usually in a very explosive way. Gold may be shiny, but if it can't go boom, then the GIF will search out someone who will pay them in gunpowder, exotic weapons, or food if you and them can't come to another agreement. They have little time for gold, even if it could buy them more gunpowder, though we think that comes down to not wanting to waste time in the markets trying to haggle for gunpowder when they could be on the front lines using gunpowder. 
Beyond that, not much changes for our hippo buddies. There is no talk about their ability to use magic, but the fact that if you want to make a gift character, you take a minus two to your intelligence and a minus four to your wisdom, we are going to assume that it wouldn't be very ideal to do so. Fifth edition. The gift is brought back to us with its introduction in Mordekainen's Tome of Foes in 2018. Unfortunately, we have yet to see the Spelljammer campaign revived, but it does give us a glimmer of hope. While no information on the Spelljammer setting is provided, we'll take what we can get, and what we get is a 7-foot hippo humanoid who has finally shown a bit of respect. Yes, they still have the over-the-top military attire and are armed to teeth with firearms, but no longer is their strict military hierarchy written about in negative terms. A GIF always has a ranking, one can only assume that they are deemed to be a private at birth, and that rank determines where they fit into society. Training starts early, with military strategy and combat techniques being required course selections. You won't find many GIFs studying the arcane arts, but they are allowed to become wizards and even clerics, though no specific deity is pointed out for them, so you may actually stumble upon a fireball casting hippo. The rankings are followed no matter the settings or circumstance, and a GIF of a lower ranking will always comply with orders from a GIF with a higher rank without hesitation or question. No conversation about the GIF, no matter the edition, is complete without talking about their love of gunpowder. The 5th edition GIF core belief is the bigger the boom, the better, so to this end, they carry around kegs of gunpowder. Since the GIF can now have their own spaceships, they have plenty of space to store a stupid amount of the stuff. What will they do with that much gunpowder? Well, building a bomb big enough to level a castle or fortification is a good start. In dire times, or maybe just because they are bored, a GIF will light up a whole keg and hurl it at a cluster of creatures. Of course, you might have even bigger problems if you happen to be near a GIF's powder keg stash, as the explosion has a 50% chance of igniting another keg in its range, which in turn could set off a chain reaction of massive proportion. Death by explosion isn't a fun way to go, unless you are a GIF, who probably has sweet dreams of dying in an epic blaze of glory. While little else is revealed about these mysterious gunslingers, we do know that they see life as fleeting but their regiment endures for generations and that to lay your life down for your regiment is the greatest honor a gift can give. They still refuse to fight each other and they detest working with other creatures. There is no information on them hating other races, so we can only assume that they dislike working with other creatures since their skill in fighting requires proper gift troops who can react to orders in a timely fashion and that others just don't have the necessary training required to hang with the massive explosions and hippo platoons. All in all, the GIF are given a more serious take on their culture instead of just labeling them buffoons. In fact, it is even specified that they are smart as humans, but their regimented style of thinking can make them appear dull to outsiders. It's a great change of pace for the GIF, and we for one agree that these spacefarers are awesome. Mostly because we don't want a platoon of them to arrive and start causing explosions in our home as they prove their points. We hope to one day see Spelljammer brought back and along with it more information on the GIF. They are a fascinating race of hippo humanoids with such a fascination with gunpowder that it brings a whiff of fresh air to a fantasy setting so focused on swords and sorcery. Who knows, maybe in the future there will be an adventure across the wild space to the lost homeworld of the GIF. Or, Watsi continues the trend from 3rd edition, and the GIF will soon get relegated back down to just being dumb brutes who only want to watch some pretty explosions. <laughs>